टू लेवल बायोलॉजी फाइव जीरो नाइन जीरो पेपर फोर टू मे जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर वन A student investigated the structure and nutrient content of a flower. Figure one point one shows the flower. Some petals have been removed so that the internal structure can be clearly seen. Make a large drawing of the flower as it appears in figure one point one in the space below. So before drawing, you have to keep some points in mind, and according to the rules of uh, drawing, you have to draw this uh, flower. and number one point should be the sharp pencil you have to use a sharp pencil to draw this second be draw very clean and clear clean and clear drawing with continuous lines no breaking no shading and draw three petals three stamens and one carpel as it is shown in figure the stigma style should be in proper size the three stamens uh, the three anthers should be long long and large in size so so you have to uh, keep all these points in mind before try now we will move towards the next question and next question is on your drawing draw a line it p to show where pollen must land where pollination takes place and you know that point where the pollen stay that point is called as stigma so stigma we will we put the letter p over here at stigma because the pollen grains are landed on the stigma to make pollen tube or to fertilize the flower now we will move towards the next question and next question is part b the student tested two parts of the flower a and b for their nutrient content the student tested both parts with benedict solution burette reagent and iodine solution and the students you know benedict solution is used to test the uh, reducing sugar burette reagent is used to find out the presence of uh, proteins and iodine solution is used to find out the presence of starch so draw a table in which to record the results of the students test in space given below so uh, as you know we uh, uh, the we have to uh, draw the table for about three tests that is the benedict solution burette reagent and iodine solution for two parts of the flowers so the table should be like this you can see that how can we draw this table in this way tests which we have to conduct uh, for the, and there will be the two a part and b part here will be observation of 
or results. They will be mentioned over here. So first test, which was Benedict. And the second, Burit. Burit and third is IOD. So A, uh, Test the part A tested positive with Banedic solution, A negative with Burit reagent and iodine solution. So the part A was uh, tested positive with Banedic solution. It means in part A, there was the present of, uh, so it can show on the color green. You know, a sequence of color takes place when the uh, reducing sugar is present. The blue color is changed into green and green color is changed into yellow and yellow will be changed into orange and orange will change into red color. And it was negative for burette, so it will be remain blue and iodine, you know, its color is brown, so it will remain brown. But the part B it was positive for the burette test and iodine test. So it means uh, there will be the absent, the Benedict will show the absence of reducing sugar. So the results show the blue color, whereas the burette test and iodine test were positive for part B. So it means protein is present. So the color will change to purple from blue to purple, or you can say uh, violet, any one of these. And for presence of iodine, the color is always changed from blue to blue-black. Iodine color is brown, so the color will change from brown to blue-black. So in this way, uh, this table can be drawn so the question, we will move towards the going to next question. And next question is, state the nutrients present in part A. The nutrients present in part A can be the reducing sugar, already written in the table. We can write it reducing sugar or glucose. And the other protein and starch. And the next and the next question is figure one point two is a photo micrograph. of a pollen grain and you can see the pollen grain and magnified up to 400. Mayan record the diameter of the pollen grain at its widest point. So if we measure, uh, it, it can be uh, about 23 to 27 millimeter. So we will take any one of this reading and then calculate the diameter of the actual pollen grain and record your answer to two decimal places space for working. So in this way, we will take its reading and we have to find out the actual and actual, for first of all, we will write the formula. Magnification is equal to image size over actual size. So if we I want to find out, so actual diameter will be equal to image diameter and magnification. So image diameter can be taken with any one of these. As for example, we will take 25 divided by 400. So the answer can be 
just like this that we will divide and then answer can be 0 0.0, 0, 0 0.0625. So it will be the actual diameter of the pollen grain. Now the next question is, figure 1.3 is a photo micrograph of a pollen grain from a different species of a plant. Describe two visible differences in the structure of the pollen grain in figure 1.2 and figure 1.3. And figure 1.2 and figure 1.3, first of all, we will move towards the figure 1.2 and you can see the figure uh, uh, 1.2, it is a little bit oval in shape and the pollen grain is uh, bifurcated in the center. It is divided in the center. And uh, secondly, uh, it, it is, uh, its outer surface is plain. But in this case, you can see the figure 1.3, the outer surface has many spikes over it and uh, its shape is oval. And uh, internally it is not divided so we can write first of all the figure 1.2 and it is round shaped and it is oval shaped and secondly uh, the spikes have no, no spikes spikes present So in this way, we have completed this table. Uh, please like, share and subscribe my channel and wait for the second part. Thanks for watching.